Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be building a cool vehicle. If you guys have seen World War 1 vehicles, the Mark IV, uh, and stuff like that, essentially you'll see that there is a main bit of the tank in the middle, the tracks go around the outside, uh, and it looks pretty cool. So what we're going to do today is we're going to build something like that. Hopefully we can make it look cool too, and uh, yeah, let's see what happens, shall we? Okie dokie, so I don't really know how wide, how long, how tall, or anything like that we need to be with this, but uh, honestly, we're going to go ahead and start off with the freeform hull like this one, uh, and we're going to build it off of that. I think that makes at least a little bit of sense. We're then going to go to mobility, we're going to go to fenders, and we're going to get rid of those, because honestly, they're not necessary in this situation. We're now going to build ourselves uh, a cool situation that should hopefully work out quite nicely, so we're going to go with that right there like that. Uh, we'll bring this backwards like so. Honestly, there we go. That's pretty good. Take this up a little bit more and we'll have it about that size. That's actually probably a good size for this. Uh, we're then going to try and figure out more stuff. So the road wheels. Um, if we put spacing in here. Can I make it go backwards? Yeah. So we need it to go pretty close to this. Uh, and the reason being for that is because... Um, the sprocket doesn't actually have the ability to push us forwards, if that makes sense. Uh, so we don't want this. Yeah, that makes some sense. I don't know whether the sprocket should actually go at the front as well, to be honest. So if we can do that, that would be great, actually. Sprocket in front. So we need this to go up to there. And we want this to go down to here. Yeah, excellent. And we want the sprocket to be a little bit bigger. I think this is a good idea. So there we go. We'll go with this. Make this a little bit smaller. And there we go. Excellent. No, that's good. So, now the spacing on the axle. No, that's not what we want. Spacing in between the dudes. There we go. We'll go with this. And that looks pretty sick to me. I like it. Good. We're then going to go with this rocket mount. We're going to go with uh, these. Yep. Actually, no, we'll go with these ones again. I always go with these ones on old vehicles. So, we're going to continue with it. Uh, and that's going to be sick. Yeah, very nice. Track segments, we're going to go with old fashioned, and that's actually really cool. Yeah. Alright, so the other thing that I want to do is I want to change the sprocket mount to be like this one, uh, and honestly, that's actually pretty cool. I like it the way it is. Uh, so we're going to keep it like that. We're going to grab both of these, and we're going to send this backwards like so. We will actually attach another piece to this, extend that. We'll bring it forwards. Very nice. Uh, we'll actually have to bring this bit upwards and in. There we go. We'll send this bit backwards, I guess. There we go. Same with the bit behind it, if we can. I don't know how to grab that bit. How do I grab that bit? All right, send this backwards like so. That's excellent. Uh, this bit could come upwards a little bit more. And then, honestly, I'm going to grab this piece, this piece, and we're going to send that backwards. No. Hang on. Take that one off. There we go. That one and that one. Send it backwards like we should. Uh, and that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, very nice. All right, level that bit out. Excellent. So far, so good. Okie dokie. So the next bit we are actually going to do is we're going to extend these out off to the sides uh, because I feel like we should. So let's extend this off like this. That is excellent. Uh, and that is actually fine. Yeah, very good indeed. Very, very good indeed. We're then going to go ahead and extend uh, this bit uh, out to the side. So extend this. We'll actually go ahead and do... Um, I actually leave it flat, that's fine. Grab it from there, extend it through here, uh, and that's going to be good too. Excellent. And then we're going to go ahead and leave it level with this. I extend it out from there. Awesome. Extend this bit upwards to the tracks, pretty much. It's very nice. Uh, we'll go to the mobility, to the tracks, and lower this down so it fits perfectly. There we go. Very nice indeedy. And we're going to build it all off of that. So hopefully we can extend this fort backwards, I should say. Bring it all the way backwards to there. Very nice indeed. Uh, go ahead and grab the points. This one, this one. We're going to send that obviously out to there. That's excellent. We're going to grab this one and this one. Wait, hang on. What have I done there? Grab this one and this one. Send it backwards to there as well. Excellent. Uh, and that is looking pretty good so far. Nice. Go ahead and grab this one and this one, send it forwards, and that is excellent. Yeah. Alright oh, guys, this is totally going to work, actually. Drag this down as we go. Excellent. Yeah, extend it. Drag this down as we go. Extend it yet again. 
and drag it down as we go. Very nice. That is very, very, very nice, actually. So, we're going to grab this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to bring this up to there. There we go. Excellent. And that's all good. That is actually all good. Yeah. All right, grab this piece if we can. Faces. Grab this piece. Extend it downwards. Uh, bring it down a little bit. And then we're going to extend it forwards, like so, into there. Like that, I guess. Yep, yeah, pretty much. That's fine. Uh, and I'm happy with that, to be honest. That looks okay. All right, now extend this backwards all the way. Meow. Why is there a gap there? Legit, why is there? A, why does there have to be a gap there? That's unbelievable. What the heck? All right, grab this one, this one. Extend it. Bring it down to the same point as each other. There we go. Excellent. And that's actually fine. So I'm going to continue to do this. I'm going to send it down, all the way down the side. And hopefully it'll look good in the end. Okie dokie, there we go. So I've actually gone ahead and sealed up the sides. And that honestly looks pretty good, to be honest. Uh, I think that does actually look really nice. Now, we're going to have to have very, 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 like, stiff suspension. Uh, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that fully. But we essentially need it so that it does not move. Because if it moves, we got an issue. Uh, but that's okay for now. So we'll leave it as is uh, and hopefully that will be a-okay. Right, okay, good. So we're gonna go ahead and move on with this. Let's go ahead and extend this piece upwards. We're gonna bring it upwards to the right height, which is about there. And we're gonna angle it so that we do have a bit of an angle on the tank. Yeah, I think that's fine. All right, go ahead and push this bit and this bit forwards. Uh, and honestly, I think that's probably gonna be okay too. We'll leave that somewhat like that. Good. Right, we're then going to go to faces. We'll extend uh, this bit and this bit out to the sides. Uh, and hopefully that'll be pretty good. I think it'll work just the way it is. We'll then go to this piece and also that piece. And we'll extend those inwards uh, so that we have, again, a little bit more angle uh, is what we want. So tiny bit of angle right there. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I like it the way it is. That's good. However, I do want to bring this piece and this piece forwards so that it sort of fits with the rest of the tank. Uh, same with this bit. So why can't I grab that? That bit and that bit. We're going to lower this down. Oh, wait, hang on. And that other bit that's in there as well. How do I grab that? How do I... How do I go about using, doing all of this at once? There we go. So that's all going to be angled down to there. That's fine. And honestly, that's pretty cool. There we go. We'll leave it just like that. Excellent. Nice. So the driver's going to go in here, the gun has to go in here, and uh, that'll be fine. So grab this, we'll put the driver's seat in like so, excellent, that's down there on the side. We need the gun to go in there, I'm not sure what kind of gun we want to use. I am thinking this one, because we usually go with this one, uh, and I'm thinking we put it off to the side. Because that'd be cool, right? Maybe? Okay, so the way that I see this is either we have one of these so that we can actually do a traverse on the gun, uh, which is always a good idea, or we pretend that that is not a thing, and we just go for... Oh, actually, one of these would be nice. Oh, oh, what do you guys think? Like a World War One tank with one of these on? I think that would be pretty sick, to be honest. I think that would actually be really cool. So we put it off to the side. We then have to build up the middle uh, to make this work, but I think that would be pretty cool. So go to faces, extend this bit, uh, go to points, grab this one and this one, send it sideways. No, on, don't mirror it though. No more mirroring in this situation. All right, okay, so go to points, this one, ah, this one and that one. Send it over. All right, excellent. So far, so good. We're going to grab this point and this point. We're going to send those backwards a tiny touch. There we go. To continue the angle, we're then going to extend this upwards. Oh, yeah. All right, to about there. Excellent. We're going to extend it upwards yet again. Okay, very nice. And can I mirror this piece? No. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to points. We're going to go to grid snap. We're going to grab this one and this one. We're going to send it in two. We're going to grab this one and this one. And we're going to send that in two. And there we go. Excellent. Nice. All right, go to faces, extend this bit, bring it down into the tank, and that is going to be excellent. That's actually real nice. So we've got that as our turret, and uh, it should be able to turn side to side, and we should be able to take on anything. Yeah. 
Okie dokie. So with that being said, let's go back to mobility, go to engine. I need to sort out where the engine's actually going. Uh, I do believe on the back is where it should go, so that is where it is going to go. Uh, and we're going to put it right up here in the middle. There we go. Excellent. We're then going to grab some of these, and we're going to have two of these below, uh, like that. There we go. All right, nice. That actually looks okay. Exhaust systems. Ooh. Kind of thinking I like the idea of putting them here. Somewhat like integrating them into this. Like that. Actually doesn't look too, too bad. So I think we will actually go with that. Fuel is going to come all the way down. We're going to have some external fuel tanks. Actually, no, we're not. We're not. We're not, we're not, we're not. We're going to go here. We're going to go to utilities. No. What is it under? The thing that I want. This. We're going to put those on the rear like this. Except we are going to angle them upwards like so. And I think that's honestly pretty sick. I think that's cool. Yeah. I like it. Alright, so Commander's Coupla is going to go on here as well. We're actually going to go ahead and make it quite small. Bring it to the front and we'll have it about there. That seems okay, actually. That looks pretty good. Crew hatches. We are going to go for one of these. Being quite large right here so we can get in towards the engine. Uh, that's a good idea. We're then going to have one of these right here to get into the tank next to the Commander's Coupla. And I think that's honestly going to be A-OK. -okay. Um, for this game, I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of these in. There we go. Single antenna. Very good. Stowages. I guess we could actually put those along this line that we've got. There we go. So actually, we'll get rid of this. We'll have a few of these. Make them smaller. Just a little bit. Why can't I put that on there? And that'll go there. Excellent. We'll grab another one of those. Make it even smaller and we'll have it next to it. There we go. About there. Excellent. That's actually pretty sick. So we get some stowages on there. Uh, we have our engine stuff already on there. We have trench crossing stuff on here. Um, that's pretty good, to be honest. Uh, on the other side, some small, tiny versions of this would be nice. Um, like that. There we go. We'll have about three of these in a row. That looks pretty cool. Interesting. Uh, and that'll be good. All right, spotlights. Let's go. We'll have one of these directly on top of the tank at the side. That's pretty awesome. We'll go to the rear with this bit. And obviously, we'll have two of these. Angle them slightly. There we go. Excellent. And that looks cool, too. Very nice. Utilities. So this is where we could have logs. Honestly, I do feel like we should have at least one log. Maybe even two. There we go. We could be a log, a log holding tank. There you go. Put those there and there. Excellent. Take them to the rear. We'll have those in the middle. And we'll actually put them on the skids. No, we won't. We won't. That's a bad idea. Delete them. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Excellent. Right, okay. So now for tools. Obviously, we would like these. Um, so we'll put those there. We'd kind of like these, to be honest. So we're actually going to go ahead and put those directly on the top. Right there at the back. And that's pretty sick, to be honest. Alright, we're going to go to the other side and we're going to put this on. Back here like so. Excellent. Uh, for some reason, that's done it on both sides. Not really what I wanted, but sure. In fact, just put it on this side, that's okay. Uh, and that's actually alright. Alright, good. Good, good, good. I do want to extend these backwards. A little bit as well. There we go. Looks kind of interesting. Uh, we do want them on both sides if we do have them, though. So we'll put that there. We'll put that right next to it. And we'll put another one of these right about there. Excellent. I think that works. Very nice. Okay, awesome. We don't need everything on this, obviously. But uh, we want things that we can actually use. I'm going to put that right there as well. Yeah, okay. Right, I'm happy with this. We've actually built this in late war as well, by the way. So we are in late war. I don't know how well it will deal with late war, but I think we should try it, to be honest. I do. I think we should try it in late war. Uh, as for the decals and stuff like that, honestly, I feel like doing this. So, at the front of the vehicle, we're going to go ahead and put this right here. We're going to extend it downwards like so. And we're going to have it go pretty much off the screen. There we go. Yeah, no, that's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Great. Good. 
Okie dokie. So I'm actually really happy with the way this is looking so far. We could put decals on it. Like we could paint it a different color if we wanted to. Um, but I'm not sure what color we would want it to be. So that's a thing. But uh, I like that actually. That color green looks cool. I like it. I think we might go with that. A little bit of grime as well. A little bit. There we go. Yeah, that looks sick to be honest. We'll keep that. Okay, so the idea now is that we actually put a bunch of uh, armor on it so that it is actually an armored vehicle rather than whatever the heck um, it would have been. Like an infantry fighting vehicle. So realistically, this was to, to fight tank, uh, not fight tanks. This was to like cross trenches uh, and that was the whole idea of them. Um, but uh, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this, to be honest. So we'll grab these at the front. Excellent. There we go. All right, we're going to grab all of this, and we're going to make it quite thick. We're going to make it 120 thick on the front. There you go. The top bit can actually be a slight, tiny bit more than that. So grab all of these pieces, and we'll make that a bit more. So we'll actually go with 135. There we go. Excellent, and that's all good. We now need to go to the side and grab all of the tiny little pieces that I made the side out of and hope that it does it on both sides because otherwise we're going to have to do it on both sides and that will be very very annoying and quite stressful there we go, grab all of this all of that, all of that, these little pieces at the rear and there we go so the side section is extremely flat but we're going to have to go with like a hundred there we go hopefully this is done, yes it is Excellent, that's very nice. If we can get to the crossbar in there, we need that to be quite quite strong as well. We're going to go with 200 mil for that crossbar, uh, and that'll be fine. Unfortunately, uh, we also need to armor up the interior of this. So how likely are we to get shot through here is actually very likely, because the AI knows. The AI knows that that will kill me. So let's go ahead and increase this. All the way down, like that. There we go. And that's going to be 100 and 100? Yeah, 100 right there. Excellent. We're a 37 ton tank now. It's not amazing, but there you go. Right, grab that bit. Grab this little bit on this side. Excellent. And that needs to be like 100 as well. There we go. On the top, we don't need anything, but these will be shown. So we'll do about 50 right there. This piece can get shot at as well. We'll actually decrease this to about 60. And I think that'll be fine. Yeah. The rear, I don't feel like it should be armored very much at all, but we'll go with 20. And then down here, we'll actually go with 20 as well. There we go. All right, we're at 42, uh, sorry, 43 tons. Excellent. It's only going to get heavier because the gun is going to get better. Also, the suspension might have an issue here, but we'll see what happens. I'm sure it'll be okay. So, the gun... We're going to make big. It's going to be a 152 millimeter gun by one meter. Actually, by less than that. Let's go with 80. Very good. We then have to increase this uh, quite far, to be honest. We have to make it real, real big. There we go. Increase it again. Real big. There you go. So one of these tanks would definitely not have a gun turret on it like this, but we do, so there you go. Alright, awesome. We're going to have that end on it, and that's pretty sick. I like it. This is cool. This is very cool. So now we need to take it to war and hope to win. There we go. 50 tons exactly. Awesome. Oh, we do have a problem, though. We have a bit of a problem. I need to actually have some talk on this. Uh, so that we can actually increase our speed and stuff. Does that make any sense? I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but essentially we need to be able to aim side to side. So we're doing that. There we go. Which means we should release some of this ammunition. Uh, and that'll be good. Alright, excellent. Drive it around. Does it work? I mean, it works. It is moving. So that's excellent. Yeah, no, this is good. Uh, problem is, though, I think the gear ratios are a little bit wrong as well. Also, I haven't changed the engine at all. 
So we're going to go with 6 speed. Uh, and I think that'll be fine. Good. Alright, the engine. We're going to go with a light engine, I guess. Okay, will that work? 5, 600. Uh, 2, 800. 2, 800. 2.2 horsepower per ton. That's bad. That's real bad, but if we get rid of some of this... We only have 20 liters of fuel. Actually, let's go with 15. There we go. We can put some external fuel tanks on. That'd be good. Um, and then we can actually release some of this. And we'll only carry about 15 rounds up there. Okay, so now we can do whatever we were doing. Mobility? No, what was it? Engine? Yep. We'll increase this to 2. So we'll have a 16 litre. Yep. Yeah. 3, 600. Um, 1, 50. One, one, five, yeah, that's good. 1, 5, 5, 0. And 5.3 horsepower per ton. Still not amazing. But it does move. And it does turn as well. Excellent. Guys, totally works. Nice. Alright. We should put this into a battle. But I think we'll do that next time. So, for now, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments down below. In the next one, we might do some modifications to it. I think I might put some rivets on it. We'll see. Uh, but honestly, I'm actually really pleased with the way this is looking. Uh, and I hope you guys like the look of it too. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.